If you keep getting your pharmacy oral exams wrong, whether that be the intern oral exam or the OSCEs that you do at university, it's most likely because you're being misdirected. Now, what is a misdirection? Misdirection is a term that I coined in my book, Passing the Pharmacy Australia Intern Oral Exam. And that's basically, I noticed that in a lot of these exams that students keep getting wrong or finding difficult, they, it's basically they've identified a problem that is so obvious that every student can pretty much see it straight away. And they think that's the problem to the actual exam that they've not done any more thorough questioning to see what the whole picture is basically. Well, let's illustrate this with an example. So let's imagine in your oral exam that a patient has come into your pharmacy and they're requesting for an NSAID. So that could be diclofenac, 25 milligrams, or they have a prescription for an NSAID, so that can be meloxicam, for example. Now, you do your normal questioning, and you realize that this patient is asthmatic. Now, for a lot of students and interns, this will be an automatic red flag for them, and they'll be like, I found the problem. This patient is asthmatic. They might be about to take an NSAID via the prescription or via them requesting it, and that can potentially make their asthma worse. So they will continue their exam, like this is their problem, without doing any more questioning. So they'll go to the patient, hey, I don't think this is the best thing for you. The NSAID can make your asthma worse. Why don't we try something else? Why don't we try ice packs? Why don't we try and play paracetamol? Why don't we try uh, certain gels, certain um, ointments? And then they think they've passed the exams. They're like easy exam, NSAID triggering asthma only to realize that they've actually failed their exam. And why is that? Because they were too fixated on the first obvious problem that they saw, that they did not do enough questioning. Now, if they did enough questioning, they would have realized that the patient was taking a medicine that was causing their muscle pains. There are a few medicines that can do this. I've just picked one, azetamide, but it could have been, for example, any of the statins. Um, because both azetamide and the statins cause myopathy and rhabdomyolysis as potential adverse effects. Now, you should have done a proper timeline to confirm that this makes sense, basically. So when did this person start taking the azetamide? Maybe it was three weeks ago. When did this person start getting muscle pains? Maybe it was a week and a half ago. Now, this timeline seems to be pretty good for it potentially causing it. Now, do you still have to address that NSAIDs can make asthma worse. Yes, of course you do. Um, but it only does that for some asthmatics. So in this case, it's possible to rule it out by just asking the patient, have you taken any other NSAIDs before, like ibuprofen? And if they said, yes, I've taken ibuprofen before without any issues, then you know that's not the actual problem to the exam. So in order not to be misdirected, make sure you do a thorough questioning. For the example that I've done, after you've done your questioning, you might have realized partway through it that the NSAID could be the problem, but you put that aside until you do your full questioning. And then at the very end, you might have been like, okay, there are potentially two problems here. One, NSAID triggering asthma. Two, azetamide potentially causing this patient's muscle pains. And then you explore them both. And that is what would have passed you the exam. If you would like more examples on misdirection and how not to be misdirected, they detail quite heavily in my book. If you would like to join me for a workshop where I go through the full intern oral exam, I'll be holding that on Sunday, the 18th of September, 2022 at 7 p.m. Uh, for those of you who decide to attend that, I look forward to seeing you there. And for everyone else, I will see you in my next post. All right, bye.